Kumite Radio is brought to you by Supplement Warfare. Visit their website, supplementwarfare.com.au for the best quality supplements on the planet. Use coupon code Kumute Radio at checkout to get 10% off of all orders. Joining me right now is one of the best up-and-coming welterweights in Australia, Joel Vigors. What's going on, Joel? Welcome to Kumite Radio. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Awesome. Before we start anything, I just wanted to congratulate you on your newest addition to your family. Um, how has having a son changed your life, man? Um, it's definitely changed my whole perspective on a lot of stuff. Um, makes it hard to be away for training, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, just soaking it all in at the moment. It's great. Have you found it very difficult to juggle, you know, daddy duties with training and having a job and all these different things going on at the same time in your life? Um, this fight camp, it's been a bit harder. Like, um, my partner's been working as well. So a couple of nights I've had to take him in the gym with me and um, get one of the guys to watch him while I've sort of started training. But, yeah, it's, it's been a bit hard, but it's been good. He sort of sits there and watches. Yeah, it's awesome. I guess it's just all part of a fighter's life. You know, when you have a kid, your kid's going to be in the gym someday, so you might as well start early, right? Yeah, exactly right, yeah. You're undefeated. You have two impressive first-round knockouts. Is it too early to label you a knockout artist? Look, uh, I think I'm decent with my hands, but... Look, I just flow as the fight goes. And if I see the opening there, I'm going to go for it. Um, but I'm also happy to sort of sit back and um, feel the person out a bit more and just flow with the fight. I like to think of, I'm a bit of a cerebral fighter. I, you know, don't put myself in any silly positions. And yeah. <laughs> Speaking of openings, your last fight, Brace 47. You almost knocked off a dude's head with that kick. Tell, take us back to that moment, man. When you landed that kick, you walked away instantly like you knew it was over. Yeah, well, the funny thing is um, backstage, um, the announcer came in to me and asked me um, what I thought of the fight, um, how I thought I was going to finish the fight. And I said, first round knockout. I'm going to get him in the first round. So to start off with, I hit him, I found my range, hit him with a one-two, found my range. And then um, he sort of balked straight away and went to rush me. Um, I broke his nose with his jab, the next punch, and put him on his ass. And then it was sort of like he was playing my game from there. And I put him against the cage and I knew I had him rattled. And he went to escape out to my left hand side and me being a southpaw that was just the money side for me and as soon as I hit I heard the crack and that was it I knew I, knew I knocked him out so it's time to walk away like Mark Hunt <laughs> <laughs> definitely definitely that was 16 months ago why have you taken such a long layoff um well I took a bit of time off I had the Bub, obviously, um, he's eight months old now, a bit of time to support my partner through when she was pregnant. Also, too, for that fight, I actually was carrying in a, a knee injury that I limped through the whole fight. Um, I partially dislocated my knee beforehand. Um, so I just wanted everything to heal back up a bit again before I sort of made the transition to come back again. Your knee, how is it now? It's good now. It's been really good. I haven't had a problem with it. Um, been testing it, been running, um, cycling, mountain biking, do, doing all that stuff. So, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's good now. All right. Coming up is the biggest fight of your career so far, UFN 16, July 8th. You're facing Joel Kendrick for the welterweight title. Your opponent, has he been on your radar? Joel has been around for a little bit and I know he's quite a good striker. Um, I know he's um, been around fighting on other shows. He's quite an active fighter as well. 
I'd say he has been on my radar. Like he's one of the guys that's been up and coming as I've been coming through as well. He's a bit younger than me. Um, so yeah, he's definitely been around and I know some guys that have um, rolled with him as well um, in comp, jits comps. And um, yeah, he's beaten one of my mates doing jits comps. And so no, it's, he's uh, quite a, a good young fighter, to be honest. It's going to be a, a good fight. How has training camp been for this title fight? And have you incorporated anything new to your normal routine this time around? Um, yeah, I've done a bit more, um, focused a bit more on my jitsu um, at the moment and a bit with um, some wrestling as well um, for like more ground control. Um, I found I was, I thought I was lacking that in other fights. Um, and other than that, getting my cardio back i feel my striking's where my game's at at the moment obviously i still work that but i've tried to shift a bit of attention to other areas i've seen that you've been competing in grappling tournaments while you've been out of the cage how has that experience been to elevate your submission skills it's been a good test um because there's not in the jitsu comps, there's not a lot of opening. Like you're not striking, so there's not everything's tighter. It's more you got to think about your position a lot more, and you really got to flow in. And um, it's, people just roll so hard, especially um, at my level at the moment. Um, it's definitely an eye opener. It's it's ve it's two very different worlds, um, but I think it's helping me grow. Um, with my competitive. I don't want to do it to stay competitive in my time off. Do you feel Kendrick is the most skilled opponent to date? Probably most skilled striker to date. Um, I believe on the ground I versed at Jimmy O'Brien, who was a lot higher belt level than Joel is. Um, but I feel that um, Joel's probably on a whole, more well-rounded of a fighter. You've displayed tremendous power, and he is known to possess some himself. Do you see this fight most likely playing out on the feet? Yeah, I do. Um, I think this is going to be a mainly st striking battle between us. It doesn't look like mo uh, most of us, like, our fights have went to the ground. Um, Joel's... I think has by the other person trying to take him to the ground. Um, I don't really see that happening. Like, of course, if I see the opening there and I feel that's the way the fight should go, that's the way I'm going to take it. But I think this is going to be on the feet and I don't see this going the distance. With a win, of course, you snap, snatch up the welterweight belt. But what else do you prove at the same time? That's a good question. Um, I never really came into this to prove anything, um, apart to um, myself, to be honest. I, I started this sport as um, a challenge because this is one of the hardest sports in the world to do. And I wanted to challenge myself because I'm competitive by nature. So I think this will be proven to myself that I've got what it takes to you know, mix it with the best guys in Australia and New Zealand. In the fight, on a perfect night for you, how do you, how does this night end? This night ends in perfect night, second round knockout. All right, what is your plans for the rest of the year after you win this welterweight strap? Um, I haven't got really any plans. I don't, um, I don't look too far in the future with this stuff. I take it one fight at a time. Um, so I'll just get it out of the way and then see what else is on the horizon after that. Obviously, yeah. take some time to the fight and eat some food. <laughs> definitely, definitely, of course. <laughs> uh, there's so many promotions in Australia right now all over the place. They're growing. So you're right. You never know. There could be another title that pops up and you could line up for that. And there's so many options. There's so many possibilities. So I guess you can't really think of too far, right? No, exactly right. And look at um, at the moment where the Aussie guys in the UFC are putting us on the map. Like UFC, um, MMA in Australia is really 
starting to get up to that level that America was is at. So I think it's you're right. There's so many other options in Australia right now, and then as gateways to um, even the Asian like um, like One FC mm-hmm. and UFC. So yeah, yeah, ACB. Uh, there's so many Bellator. There's so many options for you guys that you know it's exciting times for someone like you. Yes, it definitely is. Um, uh, as I said, I'll take it one fight at a time. But yeah, we'll see where we are after the fight, after the win. July eighth, Urban Fight Night sixteen main event. The welterweight title will be on the line. Joel Kendrick versus the man in front of me, Joel Vigors. Thank you for your time, Joel, and uh, I'll definitely be speaking to you in the future. All right. Thanks for having me.